James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is April 12th, 2022, 3 p.m. Central here in the USA. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, I've decided to go back and use one of the old models that I've been using for years and kind of got away from. It's the Electron Flux from GOES. And it has a space weather threshold line, which makes it really easy, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, I decided to just check it out. And all of a sudden, I'm like, wow, we're in a space weather event, just like those terrible events we had on the 6th and 7th. What could possibly be going on? But there it is, right in front of my eyes. So, I checked my KP index, and they're actually reporting the space weather event, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting hit by both plasma and solar winds. Uh, I did suggest that would be the case, even though they had ones and twos predicted for the entire day today. Please listen to yesterday's presentation so I can prove to you that I told you this would occur, even though they had forecasted ones or twos. Why are we paying these people salaries, pensions, expenses, giving them millions of dollars each year? I'm very confused. How can they see these sea flares that supposedly caused all this other damage and not anticipate that we'd see the same thing on the 12th and 13th? I'm having a hard time understanding where these forecasts come from, including all of their forecasts. I did want to pop over to Discover and check my work, and I do see the space weather indications up here with the crossovers. I do see the time that plasma actually broke that space weather threshold at 10 and climbed as high as, well, in the 12s, if you will. Uh, it's been there most of the day above that 10. And solar winds actually climbed from as low as 440 kilometers per second to 520 something kilometers per second. They have subsided. Temperatures are abnormally high, probably because of the plasma. But again, unpredicted space weather. They did predict ones and twos for the entire day. And this was their prediction made yesterday. Even though they could see the sea flare and the chrome mass ejection emitted. Ladies and gentlemen, God bless you guys. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.